Today we will be talking about establishing and monitoring voice print match within a beginning reader. For establishing voice print match, we want to teach and model, look at how I point and read, then we would prompt, use your pointer and make them match, and we would reinforce. You pointed under each word as you read. For monitoring voice print match, you want to teach. If you run out of words, go back and make it match. Then you would prompt, did you have enough words? And then you would reinforce, you made it match. Okay, so today you're going to read the book Frog Food. And as you're reading today, I want you to point under each word as you read, okay? What do you think this book Frog Food is about? Frog eating bugs. You think it's about frog eating bugs? Why do you say frog eating bugs? Because his tongue's out and he and there's bugs all around and he's trying to catch them. Right, right, good. I'm just going to have you turn to pages two and three really quick. And I want you to watch me point under each word as I read, okay? I like bugs on pancakes. Let me read it one more time. I like bugs on pancakes. I made sure my voice matched the word that I was pointing under, and that is your job for reading today, okay? All right, let's start at the beginning. You're going to read frog food. Frog food. Frog food. I like bugs on pancakes. I like bugs on popcorn. Okay, did you have enough words there? Maybe you should go back and reread and see. One point for one word. Go ahead, try it again. I like bugs on popcorn. Excellent. Did you have enough words that time? Wonderful. I like bugs on soup. I like bugs on sandwiches. Did you have enough words on that page? All right, why don't you try it again? One point, one word. I like bugs on pancake, on bread. On bread? Do you, does that make sense? Okay, does it look right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I like bugs on pizza. I like bugs on salad. I like bugs on cake. I like bugs. Nice job. All right, what was this book about? The frog, he liked to eat um, bugs on pizza and all kinds of foods. All kinds of food. So bugs on pizza. What else did he eat bugs on? Soup. He ate bugs on soup. Cake. Cake. Salad. What else? Um. You can always go back in your book and look. Excellent. Pancakes. Mm hmm Popcorn. Right. Soup. Bread. Pizza. Salad. And cake. Okay, good. Can you think of something else maybe Froggy would eat that would have bugs on it? Maybe pudding or... Oh. Maybe pudding, yeah. Pasta. Pasta, good. Why do you think Froggy put bugs on all his food? Because he's a frog, so he likes food. He likes bugs. He likes bugs, excellent. And do you think this is a fiction story or a non-fiction book? Fiction. You think it's fiction? Why is it fiction? Because a frog couldn't put bugs on pizza, and he wouldn't eat pizza and Right. All that stuff. Right, and look at Froggy on the cover. What else mm -hmm. makes this a fiction book? Right away, you know it's fiction. Why? He can't talk, and he doesn't wear a hat. Exactly. Wonderful job. Great reading. And I loved how you pointed under the words as you read. That was your job, and you did it. Great job. These are just some examples of some fun things that you could find at the store. This is a Mickey Mouse straw that you could use as a pointer. This is just um, like a stir from 
like the dollar store, I think. And this is a monster finger that you could find at, you know, one of those Halloween shops or Target or any kind of store like that.